And one of those is Amy Oosterloo. Amy, welcome. Thank you. Amy, tell us a little bit about uh, well, who you are, like your family, and what you do. Um, yes, so I'm Amy Osterlo, um, and we've been coming to faith for about three and a half years or so. Um, uh, my husband Richard and I have been coming. We have two children, Charlotte, who is seven, and Noah, who is four. Um, yeah, you may see me, may not see me, because often I'm in kids' ministry as well with Pedro. Um, yeah, and my husband teaches at Lennon Christian High as a biology and chemistry senior uh, teacher. Um, yeah. And you work for an organization called CEF. Yes. Tell us who they are and what they do. Yes, so I work for CEF Ontario, which stands for Child Evangelism Fellowship. Uh, CEF is actually a worldwide organization. We are in every country around the world except North Korea. Um, and our mission is to evangelize children with the gospel, um, disciple them in the word of God, and establish them in a local church. Um, and so basically we do that you know, by partnering with churches and um, sharing the gospel through VBSs, after school programs. Um, we have you know, weekly evening programs as well, um, which we call either Good News Clubs or more recently in Ontario, we have started STEM clubs. STEM clubs. Yes. So, so for those who might not know, like, the STEM club, so what is, I know STEM is like a common acronym now, but yes. not everybody might know what it is and what, they, what do you do so, there? So, um, yeah, we launched them here in Ontario, and STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And so we do that by integrating the Bible into, uh, uh, or sorry, STEM into our Bible lessons. So, yeah, science, technology, and engineering, and math. And I was so excited. I get to be a part of writing the curriculum for this. And I'm so excited because I have a background in actually science. Um, and, yeah, so we incorporate that into the Bible lessons. The kids also get to have hands-on um, STEM material and activities and do this um, through evening, once a week evening programs. Um, and so that's another way that we evangelize um, kids. And then we disciple them year round as well, either through retreats um, on weekends, um, overnight camps in March break, um, camps in the summer. Um, and then we make sure that they're established in a local church um, as well. So like I said, we partner with churches so that, you know, these VBSs that we hold, that the kids are connected and we don't just, you know, share the gospel and then leave, um, that they are established in the church. Yes. Um, so that, yeah, and that's our goal. And that's one thing that I love about CEF, that they're all, we're all about, you know, discipling and establishing them and um, just connecting with those kids to make sure that, yeah, they're established in the church. That's beautiful. And you alluded to a little bit, but what specifically is your role with CEF? Yeah, so um, I have a variety of roles. My, my role is fairly um, vast, I guess you could say. Um, my title is Assistant Program Director, um, but basically I sort of have this like overarching leadership role um, that covers a variety of different things. Summer is my busiest time. Um, you probably won't see me around here a lot in the summer. Um, I'm away at our camp facility a lot in the summer. Our camp is in Brantford. I don't know if any of you know um, Apps Mill or Apps Ridge in Brantford. Um, but our camp is right across the road. We're tucked away up in a hill. Um, but we have a two-week training in the summer for we take um, our high school and college age students um, who are willing to um, give their summer over to the Lord and either go out across the province and um, you know run some VBSs or they remain at our camp facility and work as counselors. Um, and so we do a two-week training where we teach them how to share the gospel, um, we teach them how to teach Bible lessons, memory verses, and just equip them to work with children and, you know, disciple and do all of these things with children. Um, and so I direct that two weeks of training. I prepare all year long, you know, how are we going to run this, this training? Um, so that's sort of my biggest role. Um, and then I'm there, uh, we run five more weeks of camp. Um, but I'm only there for two more weeks, as I, you know, like to be with my family as well. Um, and so I'm there for two more weeks. I direct a couple more weeks of camp. Uh, one of those weeks is actually uh, what we call our discipleship week. Um, so we have grades seven through nine that come. So they're sort of too old for camp, but too young still to be missionaries. Um, and so, uh, but they want to grow in their faith. 
uh, they want to learn more and be fed more. And so uh, we just, yeah, we have a lot of fun camp, a lot of fun, uh, but we continue to disciple them. And then another week is, yeah, just one of our fun weeks of camp. So grades three through eight. Um, and these camps are all for low income, at risk kids. Um, so, you know, it's only $60 for a whole week of camp. Wow. Um, and the rest is all through sponsors that we get for these kids to come to camp um, because these kids wouldn't be able to afford to go anywhere else. Um, yeah, and so I direct those weeks through the summer. Uh, and the rest of the year, I oversee a lot of other ministries that we run. Um, we run a mentorship program for um, like our summer missionaries, so those teenagers that come, um, we, if they want to continue to develop leadership skills throughout the school year, um, they get paired up with a mentor um, and they continue to, you know, develop those skills. Um, and so I oversee that ministry. Um, this year I'm actually one of those mentors. So it's really exciting to be able to see a young girl continue to develop throughout the school year. So I oversee that ministry. Um, and like I said, we have retreats throughout the school year to continue to build those relationships with our campers and our um, summer missionaries. Uh, so I oversee those and I get to direct some of those weekends as well. Um, so I oversee those. Um, so, and then I also um, am writing some of the curriculum for our STEM clubs um, on the side because I have some side time, you know. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, yeah, so I have, I have a lot of different things. Um, but like I said, the summer is sort of my busiest time, but I love camp life. I grew up going to camp as a camper, and so it's really exciting to be able to give back to that and be a part of it. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. And before we wrap up, like, how can we support you? Um, yes, yeah, so I have to raise all of my own support. Um, so I'm not on salary or anything like that. I have to raise all my own support. Um, I started um, on staff during COVID, which when the Lord called me, I said, why are you calling me during COVID? <laughs> um, I thought the Lord was crazy, um, but I, I... I felt that way before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but the Lord was not crazy, um, like he is not, and um, so much of my support came in, um, but I'm only at 85%, so uh, um, if anyone would like to give financially, um, then that would be amazing. But most importantly, if you would just pray for me in the ministry as I work, but also for the kids that we're ministering to, pray for them. Um, uh, that, you know, we know that the kids of Ontario and of the world are facing so much. Um, so pray for the children too. Um, and just, yeah, pray for me as I minister to them. Um, and if you're interested in financially supporting me, let me know. Um, I'd be happy for that too. Yeah, so... Please feel free to find Amy after service. You might find her down in the kids' ministry area still, often on many Sundays. And uh, yeah. Amy's also one of the missionaries that we, as a, as a church, support. Uh, so like, these are one, like, like Lori mentioned earlier, this is one of the tangible things that our offerings go towards letting people like Amy do this amazing work uh, with their kids around Ontario and beyond. So thank you so much for your work, Amy. Let me pray for you. And then we're going to show a video that tells, talks a little bit about what CEF does. God, we're thankful for Amy. We're thankful for the work that you've called her to even when it seemed crazy, God, thankful for that she stepped in to this. God, we pray that you would bless her abundantly in that role, and God, that we would see children across Ontario come to saving knowledge of you through their work. God, thank you for their efforts. Thank you for their passion for you and for the kids. God, in your name we pray. Amen. Awesome. Thank you. This is Canada, the second largest country in the world, with a population of 35 million. This is Ontario, the second largest province in all of Canada, and home to 13 million Canadians. Did you know in Ontario there are over 2.3 million children? 19 out of 20 of them don't go to church or have any Christian influence in their lives. That means over 2 million children in Ontario don't know Jesus. If you had 2 million children standing shoulder to shoulder, that would reach all the way from Toronto to Quebec City. CEF Ontario is a not-for-profit Christian mission organization dedicated to sharing Jesus with Ontario's children. Working alongside the local church, CEF Ontario provides excellent training for children's ministry and in the summer months works alongside the local church to support them in running five-day clubs and vacation Bible schools. During the school year, CEF Ontario also partners with the local church to run weekly or monthly club programs and the children we work with from at-risk neighborhoods are invited to weekend retreats and overnight summer camps where they can hear God's Word and know they are loved. 
In Matthew 18, 14, Jesus said, It is not my heavenly Father's will that even one of these little ones should perish. You can be a part of this vital ministry to children by giving, praying, or volunteering. Contact us today. We'd love to hear from you.